What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. <laughs> We're down here real quick. I, um, this Meek Mill cover art, his album cover art is causing a stir because it depicts dark skinned black women on the cover, knowing good and goddamn well this is not your preference. If this is not your preference, why are they on your album cover? That's all I want to know. If these women are not your preferences, why are you using them as sexual objects, right? And what's even worse, worser, is that, you know, you, 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 you look at, it is not that serious. You peeling out in the park, parking lot, girl. Um, it says Meek Mill is under fire. This is from a site called Black Marriage Movement. Meek Mill is under fire after fans spot his tour bus wrapped in the new album cover art, which depicts explicit images of black women, right? Um, someone says, Meek Mill, just saw your tour bus. It's obvious that you don't respect women, but what's more apparent is that you don't respect yourself either. This this is a rapper, Meek Mill's album cover. This is somebody named Xavier Durasu. Um, when are black people going to call out black people for injustices against black people? Funky Daniva says it's a race to the bottom, honey, that we uplift. That's what I was thinking about. I was even thinking about like BMF. I'm like, okay, so why are we, but I figure, okay, it's part of American history, but it's like, it's weird that in our culture, in American culture, and I don't know about, you know, any other cultures, you could tell me, do they uplift? the people who like drug dealers and like are they like not not even uplifted but more so um praised or validated or like you know like black people have this upset this love with scarface and mafia and this idea and it's like why why do we have a show about black mafia family why do we have a show about that but then at the same time i'm like okay maybe the story needs to be told that a story be told but i feel like it's being glamorized that's that's what that's what i want to say um it says the number one threat to black women is black men the most disrespectful people towards black women are black men let me tell you something we have we are a group we are a a, a a culture of people who understand whether we take it back to our ancestral and spiritual connections or we take it even back to this Christ to Christianity we know that words cast spells we all know that we know there is power in your tongue wherever whatever faith or whatever spiritual practice you participate in everyone knows there is power in your words and for some reason black people we keep saying things over and over again, casting spells over our community over and over again. I get so fucking tired of y'all saying that black women are the most disrespected women in America. I'm so tired of hearing that. I am tired of hearing that. Like literally tired. of. I want to go to sleep. I want to take a nap. I'm tired of hearing that. I'm tired. Y'all wearing people out with that shit. It sounds like it's like something you need to remind someone to say, but when you remind, you remind. And then you remember, right? And then you re-trigger. It's like, why do we do this stuff to ourselves? I'll get back on Meek Mill in a second. But why do we do this to ourselves? I've said it before, no justice, no peace. What the hell? What do you think you're going to get when you chant in unison? in a collective unison what do you believe that you are going to get when you chant no justice no peace tell me what you think you're going to get with your powerful tongues black people and i don't understand why community organizers haven't been like you know what y'all we need to stop 
calling this chant over and over and over again. Just like casting spells. And y'all know y'all have powerful tongues. And yet and still y'all want to say, I mean, what is that Malcolm X quote? You know what I'm talking about. It's like, stop saying that kind of stuff. No justice, no peace. Why don't we yell, we want justice. We want peace. We want justice. We want peace. Why are we saying, why are we saying no justice, no peace? The universe is like, granted, whatever you ask me for, I will, I will conspire with you to give it to you. That's why I'd be like, why are we, why do we so constantly play the oppression Olympics? Do you realize if you, if you try so desperately hard to fight for a position, you might get to keep it. You might, you might, you might get to keep it. There's a lot of reprogramming and rewiring that needs to happen within our community because the words that we speak over our community, it, some, it equals death. And we keep speaking it over. And, and like, I really don't understand how community organizers hasn't said, hey, guys, you guys think we should chant a different something? Because that's, like, honestly, like, that's something that happened. Like, they've been yelling that forever, right? How long they've been yelling no justice, no peace? Forever. And where, have we gotten any justice? Have we gotten any peace? So do you guys think that we might be trying and we might want to do something different? Why don't we start proclaiming peace over our communities? Why don't we start proclaiming justice over our communities? Why don't we start proclaiming that women, black women are the most loved women in this world or in this community, whatever. Like there's a lot of reprogramming that we have to do. That's why I get down here and I share my opinions about things because I, 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 I've there, I, I haven't heard anybody say anything like that. Like I'm tired of hearing no justice, no peace. I'm tired of hearing that black women are the most disrespected women in the world and how black, I'm, t I'm so tired of it. Even with the, 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 the black women empowerment, um, sector of YouTube and their messages and stuff like that. One, I, I and I go back and forth because I'm like, you know what? There, there has to be a message message so people who are not who haven't got to that level in the game they have a playbook that they can go by and they can see these videos that some of these women are um, making and creating to like kind of be a warning but this consistent conversation that surrounds a group of people where you're not getting reciprocity from and the conversation to continues to center them I'm tired of that too I'm like okay so ladies What's the next step for these women? Now that they've gotten into this situation, now that they've gotten into this um, this awareness, what's the next step for them? Why do we, it's like, I don't know. Anyways, anyways, I know that sent me on a, a tangent. Why Meek Mill got naked women bent over, coochie out, paint, painted on the side of a damn bus driving through the streets. At some point, black women have got to shut shit down like this. It's a disgusting image. Meek Mill is not an ally for black women. And that's another thing. It's like you have these images on your album cover and now they're plastered on the side of a bus. And there was some white man yelling, you know, he was a anti B-A-X-X-E-R and he um, was yelling like black women you're dealing with this you're okay with this are you okay with these images no black women are not okay with this however the irony of all of this the irony the sweet irony of all of this is that the artist that created the album cover is a black woman yes <laughs> the artist who created the album cover is a black woman who did the artwork. That's the crazy part about it. And it's like, at what point do you say, you know what? I'm, that's not the job I'm going to take. I'm going to pay you a lot of money to de for you to depict yourself, lady, on the side of a bus with your coochie out represented by a little pink dot a hole right the hole that i tell you that they don't give a fuck about yeah the one that i tell you they will harm your body and still stick their dicks in that hole yeah they don't care i, I like i don't understand i don't understand 
I don't understand. Why don't you put what you like on the side of the bus? Because you don't even like black women like that. You don't. So why is it okay for you to use a black woman's image and have it degrading with her fucking ass? And that the other thing is too, outside of that, Some black women participate in that. And that's just what it is. And and there's an accountability to that that has to come. There is a participation. I always say there's nothing that's happening in your life that you are not participating in. If you do not want it in your life, stop participating in it. You are participating. There are so many women participating in this. In the de degradation of our own images. A black woman created that image for a black man so he can plaster it on an album cover and then put it on the side of a bus. And then you have white men yelling to black women, asking black women, how could you let this happen? Like, how could you let this happen? Okay, now here, here's the position. Once again, women are being blamed for... The behavior of a black man. However, when you peel back the layers, you see that a black woman helped him create these images. So black women are participating in the, the degradation of our image. Honestly, we participate in it. And it goes to another content creator's, um, um, What's her name? Sinji, who says that we live in a black male worshiping culture. There's no way that a woman would actually should have taken a job to create an image of herself in a degrading way. That's a problem. Fuck what Meek Mill. That's the expectation of these niggas. They don't fuck with black women, but they have no problem putting your image up to degrade you. Not just, not their preferences, right? The light-skinned girls with the Mariah Carey hair, right? That's not, that's not the image. That's who they want to put their dicks in. They put their dicks in anybody, honestly. But the, 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 what they find preferable and what they find desirable, that's not what they putting on the side of the buses. They putting your dark skin image on the side of the bus. Look at this what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What is this? This is on the side of a bus. This is on the side of a bus. Rolling through your street. Rolling on the side of your street. Is this what you want, black women? Is this what you want, black women? Is this what you want? Look at this bull fucking shit. Look at this shit on the side of a bus. Is this what you want, black women? Is this what you want? Is this how you want to be respected? Is this how you want to be respected in life? This is how you want to look. This is how you want to be portrayed. Stand up to this bullshit. I'm from Philly. I actually should support Meek Mill. This is fucking disgusting bullshit. Look at this lady. Look at this. This is on the side of a bus where little girls can pull up and see this shit. And boys. That's a fucking pussy. Let's not mistake him what this pink dot is. This is disgusting. This is satanic bullshit. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of... Look at this shit that you're getting on. Like at what? Like I mean, to his to his question. So what's next? Cause it's out there. So what's next? All we could do is say, we don't agree with it. He's, it's already done with the help of a black woman. That's the crazy part. Like let's not forget that part. Let's not forget that part. Right? You really took money. <laughs> you took money from a black man. To, to create an image of you. A degrading image of you. Like, at what, what? I know people have to make a living. I know people have to live. But where do you draw the line? I thought, you, like, I would expect this image to come from someone. No, I won't. I wouldn't, no. <laughs> no. I don't. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. 
All we can do is say we don't agree with it. All we could do is say you are fucked up for doing that. All we could say is, you know, you wouldn't put the women that you really desire on the side of the... We, we could say all the shit. Why don't you put the women you desire? Why would you take an image of the person... Who, like, like, there's just... I know why. Because there's no respect. So the expectation is like, I don't have any expectations of meek meal in the realm of respecting black women. I don't have any expectations. I just don't. But when I see that, when I see like, oh no, a black woman created this girl, sis, why? Well, I need the money. I'm an artist. Okay. I wonder how she feels about it. Remember how y'all went off about um, Pusha T's album cover because it was an image of um, Whitney Houston's counter? Remember it was taken from uh, an image from like the Inqu National Enquirer or something like that? And it was a picture of Whitney Houston's um, bathroom counter. Remember how everybody was like, that is so rude. That is so disrespectful. This is really the rude and disrespect. This like this kind of stuff. Like a, a picture of somebody's bathroom counter with some drugs on it. That created a, a like a, a noise, a roar, right? I think I don't think a lot of people are happy with this. I don't think a lot of people are happy with this. I think that the woman behind it, I really I really would like to see um what she has to say. Hold on. Her name is Nina Chanel Abney. She is the artist um, that did the album cover. She is a black woman. Um, she makes different art. They said about um, blackness, life, queerness, politics, um, and a perspective free of the white gaze. Um, you know, she looks like a good artist. You know, nothing to take away from her artistry. But I would like to hear what she thinks about this. I'm looking at some of her artwork. Um, I, is she a queer woman? I feel like even as a queer person, you would be, as a queer black woman, you would be really protective over our images. This, that just really made me want to cry. All right, I don't know what to do about the Meek Mill situation. I don't know what to say. I think it's disrespectful, but, you know, what are the consequences? You know, what is the consequence? You know, you don't buy the album. You protest. You say you don't agree with it. The album artwork exists. It's another example of images that are used to degrade black women. But we also have to say that black women are participating in the degradation of our own images. And it really sucks that a black queer woman created that image. It really fucking sucks. I really have a problem with that now. I didn't... I, I just like... At all these intersections, you are, sis, that you sitting in, sis, and you want to create... Like, when do you advocate for yourself and for your own image? When does that happen? You yeah, all, all money ain't good money. You seem to be a successful artist. So why would you take this opportunity and like really paint a pink hole? And maybe, you know, on the flip side of it, you could look at it and say, here is an example of a black woman helping and assisting with the degradation of her image alongside of this black man. Maybe it is a reflection on our community and what needs to be the next step and what needs to happen next and how we need to be more vocal. I don't know. I don't know how more vocal you can get. Like everybody is talking at the same time right now on the internet. Every fucking person is talking right now. How lot, what, what more can you say? What more can you do to say, Hey, you know what? Can y'all stop doing this? But I, I, we, I mean, and this is a, this is a painting, but let like in, in the human, the female human being, she participates in this. She participates in the degradation of her image. So what do you say? Sis, stop participating in that? No, why should I stop participating in that? 
it gives me the attention that I desire and crave. And I've been taught to desire and crave this attention. So I have to make my image look like this in order to be desirable. That's really what it boils down to. And that's the reason why women participate in this shit. That's why, I, you know, that's why some people, some women have issues. I hear the issues that they have with like female rappers. It's like, why is it always sex, 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 sex? It's that's what has been programmed in us that says that's sales. You want you have to be desirable. You have to look a certain way in order to be desirable. And sometimes you have to participate in creating images of yourself that degrade you. You participate in it. Because the men couldn't do it without the women. They couldn't do it without your help. Like literally, Meek Mill could not produce that without that lady's help. <laughs> I'm not trying to blame that lady. Looks like it's a joint effort, right? At this point, it looks like we're participating in some shit together. And somebody needs to stop participating so the shit could stop. But it's not going to stop. Because the desire to be desirable and the desire to, you know, be in proximity to men there's a desire there for a lot of women a lot of women and so they will participate in degrading themselves just to be close just to be close and it's sad and it's unfortunate and some people you know they 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 uh, grow out of it some people don't like i was on a video reading someone's comments and I saw this comment and it jumped out at me. It says, don't hang out with women who don't get the same kind of attention from men that you get. It made me sick when I saw that. I was like, girl, this is a woman who is telling you that I'm not going to be friends with another woman who doesn't get the same attention from men that I get. It's too much there's there too there's too much black woman participation in the degradation of your image. You participate in it. And this is like a clear example of that happening. Because everybody's mad at Meek Mill. How could you do this, Meek Mill? Black women, are you okay with this? You know what that man is gonna do when he realizes that a black woman was the artist? He's going to say, Yes, you guys are okay with this. Take care of each other and protect your energy. Peace.